I'm curious in in a in an organization like yours, First Brands, where you've got oh, I just can't even imagine how many digital assets you guys are uh, generating on a daily basis, and how many of those frantic calls you deal with. How do you manage that that those kind of requests and, and keep yourselves um, productive and accountable? That is an amazing question um, because that is that has got our, our attention a lot lately. Um, and we're, we're, you know, <laughs> it's hard to answer too. I mean, uh, so I'll, I'll try and break it down here in, in just different components. So you look at the sheer amount of digital assets we have to manage. Um, we're taking a real serious step towards uh, 360 degree photography. So if you just do some really quick, high level, nasty math, um, we're, yeah, we're talking in our organization, First Branch Group as a whole, uh, we're really close to 400, I don't want to say 500,000 SKUs, we're about 400,000 SKUs. Um, in a 360, you know, depending on how many planes you shoot, multiply that by 24. So just the sheer amount of data and work and editing and storing and distribution and file naming and proofing and reporting makes your head spin. So, you know, it's, but it, we're, we're also in a good position um, in, you know, how many, you know, however crazy that sounds, we're in a good position because um, First Brands is pretty much a, 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 a very young, it's a very young organization made up of very old brands and, and, and a lot of traditional um, um, uh, legacy business units. So what we're doing is we put together First Brands Group and we bring together all these different brands and these systems. We're using that as an opportunity to re replatform and start with a fresh slate. Um, and, and, you know, if, if you're going to have to manage that many digital assets um, and do it right, you can't just kind of build something on the fly and throw duct tape and bailing wire at it. You got to start with a fresh, you know, uh, a fresh slate, right? So um, one of the first things we did... Um, is brought on a software and adopted a software, probably one of the best in the industry that we were able to find, which is a true enterprise solution that's got as much computing horsepower behind it, as much storage as you could get with a lot of automation uh, built into it for, um, and a lot of efficiencies built into it for file naming and distribution and, and, and sharing it amongst different uh, uh, groups within the organization. Um, so that's kind of like the, that's the, the basis in the, in, in the heart of the system. And now we're just going through the process of onboarding as much of our digital library into that system as possible. Um, so, you know, it, it, ain't, it ain't easy. And also too, we wanna maximize, um, you know, the fact that we have uh, warehousing um, in certain locations to be able to quickly and easy, easily get our own parts, to shoot our own parts and get them into that system. Um, the logistics and shipping and, and timing of getting samples becomes a major issue when you're talking about that many um, products to shoot. So we've tried to take the, the most strategic approach possible, putting our photography in our studios uh, in the proper geographic location, giving them access to the, the, that system to get stuff loaded. Um, it's just coming up with a good, you know, to, to summarize the answer, uh, to, to try and get you what you're looking for, come up with a, the most effective strategy you can um, and make sure it's robust enough to handle what you're going to throw at it. Um, that's the basic summary of, you know, our approach to it. Are you at liberty to, to talk about the specific system? Um, I don't see why not. We're using visual SKUs. Oh, excellent choice. We're using visual SKUs. We, we've got their top tier offering um, and the support has been world class. Um, we put those poor guys through a lot uh, because we had to merge a lot of different uh, legacy accounts, um, migrate servers, mess with the domains. Uh, it, it was not an easy thing, but those guys took it and, and, and really, you know, pulled us through and we're in a really good spot right now. It's all.